I got an email. It was a very, very long email. I'm not going to read it in this video because it's just way too long. But basically, this person's life is a mess. They're taking math. They're failing. They have family problems. They need to find a job. His girlfriend broke up with him. I mean, just everything is bad. And so I thought I would make this video to try to help this person. You know, how do you, how do you turn your life around? What can you do when everything is a mess, when everything seems like it's going wrong? I used to be superstitious. I'm not superstitious anymore. And I won't get into why, but I'm not. And I had this friend who used to say that things always come in threes. So every time I had something bad happen to me, I would look for more bad things to happen. Like, oh, this was really negative. Oh, things come in threes. It's going to happen again. So you kind of like expect it to come. And I did that for, for a long time in my life. And I finally stopped doing it which I don't think it's good to look for negativity in your life because if you look for negative things, you're going to find negative things. And we all experience negativity, right? It's part of life. And it made me think about this person because everything in their email was negative. You know, so if you, if you sit there and you make a list of all of the negative things in your life, your life is going to look pretty bad. But if you sit there and you make a list of all the positive things in your life, your life is going to look pretty good. I'm not a psychologist, but you know, I did take a psychology class in school. I had a great teacher. We got to watch Seinfeld in class. I love that show. And he told us that people tend to focus on the negative. They tend to focus on negative experiences. Negative experiences have bigger impacts on us. And they do. I think they do. A $100 loss feels worse, has a bigger impact than a $100 gain. Right? There's the, the loss hurts more than the gain brings pleasure, if that makes sense. Let's get back to the email. How do you, how do you turn your life around? Let's talk about that. Step one. Step one. Find a purpose. Find a reason. Find something you want to do. I think the purpose should be you. People try to find purpose in other things, which is fine. Which is fine. You can, have, you can find purpose in other people, in other things. And, but I think if you're trying to turn your life around, you're the purpose. It's your life, right? You're going to be here for a limited amount of time, right? I mean, we, we all eventually die. So might as well live the best most productive life that you can live. So try to improve your life. So how do you how do you do that? Well, find your purpose and the purpose is you. Better yourself. Step 1 start to better yourself. So what does that mean? Well, this person is failing in math. So obviously for that aspect of their lives, they need to start doing math every day. Let's start with that. Every single day, do at least one problem. At least one problem every single day. At least one. That's going to make a big difference. The problem with this person is that they can't focus, right? They've got family problems. They need to find a job. They, they're heartbroken. So they need to do more. So habits, right? It starts with habits. Drink more water. I know it sounds ridiculous, but stay hydrated. Your physical health is going to affect your mental health. Exercise, sleep better, eat better, and do more math. I mean, those, those simple things, those simple things, if you just take care of your body, take care of your mind, everything else kind of falls into place. Because when you take care of those two things, your body and your mind, you're taking care of yourself. And that kind of radiates out. And I feel like everything else will fall into place. You know, if you, if you drink more water, you stay hydrated. If you eat healthy, if you exercise every day, if you train your mind every day, you do mathematics every single day, 
it's it's going to have an effect on you. It's going to make you better. And everything is going to get better. Those relationships will follow. The job prospects, they will follow because your mental state will be better. If you are physically and mentally healthy, everything else is going to be better. And I think that's how you can turn your life around. In most cases, I think that will work for most people. But you have to have a reason to do it. You have to want it. It's not, it's not like immediate. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to drink more water today. and I'm going to go run a mile and I'm going to do three math problems. Well, my life didn't change. No, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. That's what everyone wants, right? But it doesn't work that way. It takes time. You have to train your mind and you have to train your body. And I think that's, that's how you can take your life from being a mess to your life from being really, really good. And hopefully this person is watching the video because I, I, I do think that this can help them. This is a really recent email. I got this, uh, I read it last night and I got the email like a week ago. So I, sorry, I get a lot of emails. If you want to email me, by the way, go to my website, mathsorcerer.com. I actually have courses there, by the way. So you check those out too, right? So click the links there. It takes you to Udemy. Uh, but there's a contact form there and click contact and it sends me a message. And that's a really good way to contact me because I can search my email uh, for those emails and I can, I can respond to them that way. It's better to contact me that way. And you don't have to put your email address in there. You don't have to put your name in there. And, and if you don't want your name to be used in a video or if you don't want your email to be used in a video, I won't use it. That's fine. I believe in respecting people's, you know, identity and all that stuff. But yeah, train your body, train your mind. And I think you can turn your life around. So if everything's a mess, I think it's going to make a big difference. Because when your mental state is good, you're able to do things, right? If you can control your mind, everything is good. But the problem is you need to, you need to feel good to be able to control your mind, right? There's, there's a mind-body connection. So like if you sleep really good, if you feel really good, if you're hydrated, if you're exercising, if you feel strong, if you feel mentally strong and physically strong, it's going to make a difference in everything in your life. It, it makes a huge difference. It's going to make you more confident. It's going to make you smarter. You're going to feel better. It's probably good for you because it's good to be healthy, people say, right? I mean, I don't know a lot about all that stuff, but I do know that you know, I exercise every single day. I train my mind. I train my body every single day. And I feel great. It's awesome. And so your life is a mess. I think this will help you. I think it'll help you. Do you have advice for people who are struggling, who feel like their life is a mess? If you do, you know, leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck. Go do some math.